Oh, nice. Uh, so we have that background, and I serve as the Attleboro Police Chaplain at this time. Oh, very uh, good. As well, so we're active with, with uh, law enforcement and, uh, and appreciate uh, very much. It's kind of in our in our blood. In fact, my ringtone on my phone is Hawaii Five O. We love law enforcement. Oh, there you go. Uh, so uh, the original should, one, though, yeah, right? The original not, not one. The new one. Yeah, the original one. So we we um, we love um, you know we love law enforcement. Been part of that. So I grew up there. Uh, when I was 18, I went off to college. I was the first of, uh, of my family to uh, graduate from college, going back as far as we can trace back. Um, and now I have three younger brothers, and, uh, and uh, two of them also graduated from college. My youngest brother didn't choose to go, could have, but chose not to. Sure. Um, and we, um, uh, so we have you know, that as a background. Um, I have, uh, I was, I've got married in 1985. My wife and I just in July celebrated our 26th year of Congratulations. marriage. Congratulations. I have two children. Uh, my daughter is a teacher in Pennsylvania and uh, my son is a college student in South Carolina, so he's working hard in the primary this week. Oh yeah. Uh, he's that's... excited uh, about that and enjoying himself uh, immensely. And uh, so uh, we're just uh, very thankful for what, uh, for what we have. And as I said, I've been pastoring at Grace Baptist for 20, uh, 23 years. And, and uh, just been involved in a lot of things in the community. I've, I've been involved in the Attleboro Pop Warner. I was a coach and I was the vice president of the league. I've uh, been involved in, in numerous other things. I coached Little League. Uh, we've been involved, we're especially heavily involved with the Council on Aging in Attleboro and, and looking to reach out to the Council on Aging around the, uh, around the district and, and uh, having you know, some of the same roles that we have with the Council on Aging uh, as well in, uh, in those places. So just a lot of varied background and, and uh, just thoroughly enjoy serving people. Very good. Now, this, this, is, this, is a great, this is a good thing about this show is now what we're going to do is I'm going to let you have a camera of your choice, and I'm going to let you address the people and uh, make you make your pitch as why they want to maybe want to think about voting for you in the election and why you should be the candidate of choice. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to you can look right over there okay. and you can we'll tell the people. Look, we'll just look straight ahead and. Uh, it, yeah, and this is this is your time. Well, um, to the people of Mansfield and the surrounding area, I just would uh, say, uh, in addition to the things that we've already talked about here around the around the table. I believe it's time for new voices uh, on Beacon Hill, someone who will serve uh, people who will not be concerned with a title, will not be concerned with uh, the prestige of the office, but will roll up his sleeves and do the job um, that, uh, that we require and need, and that we will bring some sanity up onto Beacon Hill. So I'd appreciate any, uh, any support you give me now, and I would appreciate your vote in November. Very good. Short and sweet. I like that. Okay. I, you know, I like that. You know, that's the last thing you want to hear is long-winded from politicians, right? Yep. So that's good. So, um, again, I would like to thank our special guest, and that is Jeff Bailey, for uh, taking a little time and coming over here. Now, this is where we, this is where we really put you to it, okay? And uh, so um, if things go your way and you, uh, you turn out to be our state senator, then now you have to promise me in front of everybody that you will not be a stranger to this kitchen. I will come anytime I'm invited and the schedule allows, and we'll make sure the schedule allows. Okay, so we're going to hold you to that. I've got okay, this. Very okay, good. There's, a, there's a nice guy out back named Jack O'Neill who's make, he's taping. And that's this. on tape, and, and it'll be there. It's on okay. tape, so it is etched in stone. And if I don't, there'll be someone else here running against me uh, the yeah, next so. time around, and then that tape well. will be shown over and over again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'd like to thank Jeff Bailey for coming in, and uh, you know, hopefully, as your campaign grows, you may want to come back. I mean, you know, we, we welcome any candidate. And, and you know we, we uh, you know all all takers here are welcome. And if you have questions for uh, Jeff Bailey, and if you want to get a hold of him, you've got his email address, and you can also get a hold of us. And if, again, if you want to be on this show for any reason whatsoever, as you know, uh, you you can write to us at our email address at mansfieldkitchensink at gmail .com. Again, right there, perfect. Look at that, nice. Um, we are on Facebook.com slash Mansfield Kitchen Sink and talkmansfield.org. We have a page there. You can get a hold of us and we'll be happy, happy to address you. So with that, we're going to back on out of here tonight and uh, I'll let it go at that. We'll see you next time. Again, I want to thank you for having my kitchen in your living room. And for Jeff Bailey and myself, we'll catch you next time on Everything But the Kitchen Sink. I'm Dan Pascucci. Possession is the motivation that is hanging up the goddamn nation. Looks like we always end up in a rut. Everybody now.